Hi, welcome to this video on how to create cascading drop downs in Nintex forms. To demonstrate this function, I'll use a city to state relationship on a store feedback form. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already created two lists which will hold the information the cascading drop down will use. The first is a states list, and the second a stores list. You can see that the states have already been populated with a few stores. I've also created a third list called store feedback. This is where the form will be created to collect the data. So we can now customize the item form for this list. Select Nintex forms in the ribbon and then choose customize the item form. Now I want to create a working cascading dropdown on this store feedback form. So you will notice that there is a space on the right hand side of the select a state and select a store labels. This is where the cascading dropdown will go. The first thing to do is add and configure two list lookup controls. So I can drag two of these onto the canvas and resize them so that they fit within the form. Okay, so I want to add a second one. We now have the second list lookup control on the form. In the state list lookup control, we can call it my form state. And select the states list as our source list. In the validation section, I also want this section to be completed, so I need to select yes for required. The final thing on this control is to remove the item ID number from the form. So in the advanced section, I need to change the prepend ID to value to no. Alright, so that's finished and we'll go into the second list lookup control. This control is needed for the selector store section. This is called my form store. and we'll select store as the source list. We also need to add some filtering so when a state is selected, the stores in that state will automatically be populated. So we want to filter by a controls value, in this case, the state column from the store list. So we'll type in state here and select my form state in the filtered by control field. Again, in the validation section, select yes for required and remove the item ID number from the form by selecting no in prepend ID to value. Okay, so we've just finished completing this form and we're ready to save and publish. So let's click on the preview button so I can show you how the cascading dropdown section works. Here is the form we just created. If I select Victoria as the state, the form will automatically populate with the correct stores. You can see here with Melbourne and Geelong. The same happens when I select New South Wales as the state. And we now have a working cascading dropdown. Thanks for watching this short demonstration on how to create a cascading dropdown in Nintex forms. This method can be applied to any forms you want to create. For more information, please visit nintex.com.